This is Lisa from Casa de Green, the art. Um, I have this piece sitting around and I did not like it when I did it, so I just left it, which I do quite often. It is on a wood um, plaque and I had done a really cool um, coaster with the same background, which is Windsor Violet. And I really liked it, how it came out. So I am going to try this one again uh, with the Windsor Violet and the uh, I'm going to be using silver from Deco Art Extreme Sheen, mauve from Holbein, pearl violet from Amsterdam, sangria from Little Piggy Pigments. I'm going to throw in pearl sparkle from Holbein and topping it off with Twilight from Little Piggy Pigments. We will see how this goes. This is a complete experiment. Don't know how it's gonna work, but I thought, why not? Let's do it. I do have this taped up quite close to the edge here, so I'm not worried about the edges at all. Let's see how this comes out. This base paint was pretty thick. I did add some water to it before I um, poured it this time, but it was pretty thick and it still seems a bit thick, but hopefully it'll come out as good as the coasters did. This mauve color is really beautiful and just gives enough contrast against the um, Windsor Violet. I'm gonna do this a little thick. This one I'm not going to do that thick. It was just a little bit of contrast in there. Fingers crossed. Seems a little bare here and here, so I'm going to lay down a little bit more. And I am not going to do the silver again. I'm just going to lay down some of the color. Some here, some here. I do like how it looks, though. I think it is going to turn out really good this time. And 
this time I'm gonna blow this section down a wee bit. Still didn't get it in this section. That's so weird. Let me put a torch to it. Maybe I can get some stuff to come up right there. Some really cool cells coming up there, though. Let me use my little blowy thing down here. What do you think? Should, I'm going to turn this light off so you can see it a little better. What do you think? Do you think I should just leave that? I think I should. quite a bit of reflection. It still lights it up really good. I think I'm going to let it dry. There are some really awesome cells happening right here and starting to happen right here. So I think I should just leave it, let it do its thing. Of course, now I can't touch it more. I've got to touch it more. Leave it alone, Lisa. You mess with it too much and you will end up hating it again. All right. I will bring you back. Well, let me go ahead and do a close up of it and then um, I will show you when it's dry. It is definitely going to have some sparkle. There are some really, really awesome cells popping up over here. I think it is going to work itself out just fine. This is that section I'm a little worried about, but look at those cells. Oh, that's just gorgeous. All right, I will let you see it um, tomorrow when it is dry. Here are, is the dried result. Very pretty. I like this much better than the other one. This is going to really sparkle with a coat of resin. I am back with another failed painting. You will rem remember this one from the Win Some You Lose Some um, video that I did. And um, I decided I am going to play with some paints that I just got. Um, I just got the fluorescent paints from Soho. So I have fluorescent blue, fluorescent pink, fluorescent green, fluorescent yellow, fluorescent orange, and fluorescent red. So I decided I'm gonna play with those, but I'm gonna add the Art Amsterdam pearl colors. And actually a couple of the Holbein pearl pink, a Holbein pearl blue, Amsterdam pearl green and Amsterdam pearl red. I figured what the heck, let's give this a try. Since I'm playing with failed projects, I might as well just go all in, right? And I'm trying to decide if I want to put a metallic with this or not. And I think I'm just going to use ever so slightly some and figure out what the heck I'm going to do here. I'm going to go ahead and use my Windsor 
and Newton uh, Mars Black Base because that works better with the fluorescent colors. I've actually had fairly good success with fluorescent colors. I didn't care for the paintings that I did, but they sold really well. So I'm just like, okay, well, there's obviously, you know, people out there who like them. So who am I to judge what's good and what's bad in that regard? is that they do disappear very quickly and very easily. So I'm trying not to do the um, base paint too awful thick in that regard. Okay, what is it, what, con what do I want to do for composition? Let me think about this for a second. I have three and three, so let's throw three together and we'll go here. Like I said, I'm just using a tiny bit. And we'll go here of gold, because I don't want it to take over, and I don't want it to eat up all the paint. So I think I'm gonna do the orange. Let's see. The orange, oh, those are too close together. I want to put the pink, the blue, and the green together. So I'm going to do orange, yellow, and red. And since I don't have a pearl color for the orange, I will use that as the base over here. And like I said, these are the first time that I'm using them. So we'll see how they work out. And then we'll go pearl yellow. Bottles just want to explode out. I think these paints will show under a black light also. Where's the pearl red? It is. So that'll be a really neat experiment we can try. Is throwing them under a black light and see if they show up. Now we'll do, we don't want to put the pink and the blue too close together because they'll make a muddy, um, a muddy or, um, purple, which I tried to mix them together already and um, it was a very muddy purple because I did want a, um, would have loved to have had a fluorescent purple. So I'm gonna do this blue. This is the Hobine one that I think looks a bit more periwinkle than the Amsterdam. Okay, stop spitting all over me, bottle. Let's see, where's pearl green? Hobine Pearl Pink. I've never put the pearl colors with the neons, but I haven't had a whole lot of neons. I had some small, um, different brands that I was trying, but I was buying like really small tubes of them, so I didn't get to use them a whole lot. Like I said, the painting sold. So, and most, a lot of men and people who love space love the neon colors. All right, let's see how this goes.
Like I said, not necessarily my cup of tea, but at least the black is not eating the paint this time. So I'm really happy about that. And there are some cells showing up. Something I might go ahead and do with this one is do the wait the 10 minute thing and go in and put my swirls into it. Yeah, I think I will do that. So I am going to take a 10 minute break, come back and do some of my swirl thingy in there. Okay, I am back. I'm gonna be using my um, MTN Liquid Gold and Silver. Love these products. I put them in little tiny cups, just a little bit, and use a chopstick for this process. Okay, and I kind of, I don't know if you can, let me stick this in the, I kind of swirl it around every time and I keep a paper towel handy to wipe it off after every use. And I want to be aware that there is another painting underneath here, so I don't want to go too deep with my swirls. heart this also kind of moves the paint around really pretty blends it together some move over. The pink and blue and green look really great. Really excited about that. Let's do and that move that I just did right there is my L. Let's put a heart in this one too. Okay, I think that's good enough. Uh, maybe a little bit more over here on the yellow and orange and red side. Let's go in this way. Ooh, that looked really cool. Okay, I think that's good. Okay, I will take you off the tripod and show you a close-up. You can see the, the blue right here that is the pearl. It kind of looks periwinkle to me. Look at those cells though.
Now as this dries, where I've put in the swirls, a lot of times you will see a gap around the edges of them and it looks really cool as they dry. As long as the um, painting underneath doesn't show through, that's the only thing I'm worried about. And my flash just turned off because it's too hot. All right, thank you so much for watching. I will come back with the dry versions of both of these paintings for you to see. And here is the dry result. I think it came out really good. It'll look really great with a coat of resin.